Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, um, today is July 30th, 2020. It's hard to believe we're this far advanced in the growing season that we're at, like at the end of July. And uh, today what I want to talk to you about is, is there a difference between growing outside and growing in a controlled environment like in the greenhouse? So that is uh, what's going to be in today's episode, so please stay tuned. So uh, for my growing experiment, I decided to try uh, Celosia. And this is a, a dwarf coral mixed color Celosia. And uh, this is the um, coxcomb Celosia. It has like the coral reef type, uh, brain type um, blooms on it. I direct seeded everything in and celosia requires a hot temperature to grow and germinate and uh, do its best at. So um, this is in a coconut lined basket and uh, I set the basket in uh, a tire here to help draw the heat in because I'm gardening in Pennsylvania in zone 5B and um, I direct seeded everything in this container and um, I wanted to see, you know, how it would do. So it started germinating for me, and uh, the plants were growing uh, pretty slow. Um, they were pretty small, and um, they weren't really doing the best. So um, I decided to put some in the greenhouse. Now you can see the blooms here. They are just starting to bloom, and uh, I... Um, been watching this here to see you know how it's doing and the blossoms really aren't too big um, the plants aren't very large so um, I had issues growing celosia before outside with this variety um, it wouldn't really get too big uh, small blooms on it so um, when I had the extra room in the new greenhouse um, I decided to see what it would do in there because um, I just I really wanted to see what this variety could do. So we're going to go in the greenhouse and we're going to see how that did in there. So we'll be right back. So this basket right here right in the middle is uh, my dwarf coral coxcomb mix. And you can see there is a huge, huge difference between growing in a controlled environment and growing outside in nature. You can even see up here. I have been growing this variety for many years now and I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. I have never ever seen this variety grow like this before. These were started way later than the ones outside. These actually started blooming before the ones even started blooming outside. And it's just amazing to me how much of a difference it is. Actually, the ones outside were um, growing that poorly and that slow that I had to actually start feeding them more. Because these, both of these are growing in the exact same type of a container. Uh, they're both in a coconut liner basket. They both have the exact same plant food. Uh, and they're both in the exact same type of soil. And these were started much later than the ones out there. Now I have another thing to show you that's pretty neat. This batch over here, now there's three containers here of these, were started way later than the first batch I showed you outside. And you can see the difference with these things. And I'm very amazed and impressed. These are actually already blooming. Whereas those out there are just starting to bloom. And um, it's just, it, it is just amazing to me how much they're growing. Here's another one over here. This is another container of them here. And I mean, it, it's phenomenal to me how much of a difference there is between these plants from the ones growing in the controlled environment versus the ones out in nature. Now, um, the ones out there, we outside, we did start feeding them a, a lot more because 
the blooms, they just weren't doing anything. They were just sitting there. And um, I had to get my, my crop out of them because I need these for a project. And uh, it's just... It's just amazing to me how well these are doing. Now, I've already started cutting some of these so uh, I can start using them. And I noticed that even on cucumbers. We can't grow cucumbers outside anymore. But we can grow them in the greenhouse. And they do amazing. And um, they give a whole lot. So, um, it's just pretty interesting the difference between growing in controlled versus outside in nature and you can see all these celosias here this one here I just this one here I cut down but I have more celosias growing over here and um, the rest of my experiment that I want to see is I want to see if I can get the really large heads with um, the celosias growing in the greenhouse I've already seen the difference um, with the dwarf coral mix how the heads got so much larger in here than they did outside and uh, we had a really weird growing year this year where it's like stuff really didn't want to grow or get like the nice large heads to it and uh, nothing how it was being taken care of changed so um, I'm excited to see what these here do now these were actually started after the dwarf coral celosias that I had just shown you. And you can see this one up here. Oops, there's a wasp there. I don't want to get in that. This one here is getting ready to bloom soon. And you can see some more down here. It's another different type of a Celosia variety. And I thought about a lot of different reasons of why they may not have been getting the large heads outside or growing um, the large plants to them. So um, I took into consideration that they were transplanted. And um, I have read already before where... Uh, transplanted celosia can have small heads on it or um, it'll kind of be dwarfed it won't really grow so I took that into consideration when um, I direct seeded my seeds outside into that planter and I thought well maybe that'll make a difference so I direct seeded them in and they were coming up and they were just sitting there they weren't growing or anything and I eventually just had to start feeding them with uh, a liquid plant food just to get into the size that you've seen them um, in this video. And these in here, I just, I direct seeded them in the same way, same kind of uh, potting mix. I use the miracle Grow um, potting mix. And they just took off. So it's definitely something with the controlled enclosed growing environment and it does get very warm in here um, now we do have the roll up sides on it we do put those up and then we have uh, the automatic vents and the two doors but it still does get warm in here so um, you know maybe that also has something to do with it with how warm it gets in here that everything just like grows and thrives but these did just get fed um, a liquid plant food uh, earlier this week. It's the first liquid plant food that they ever had. And uh, I could kind of see where they were starting to run out of some of their food. So um, I just went ahead and gave them a little bit of a, a liquid plant food. And uh, this one here is the uh, Fresh Look Red Celosia. And I will have video on my channel for um, this particular variety and uh, 
how to grow it, some different tips. I did a review of uh, this variety, so you can check that out on my channel. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that will tell you when I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!